Well, hi everybody. This is Explorer 867. Today's the first day of the rest of your life, so get out and enjoy it. Get out and do something new. Get out in the field and see something new. Um, it's been a while since I have uh, made a video here, and I thought I'd bring you guys kind of up to date with what I've been doing. Uh, many other things around the, the property here. Uh, we have some property here in Central Oregon, and uh, it requires a lot of a lot of work in the house too. So I've been doing that, and started working on the trailer. Finally, we've got some nice weather. Uh, we're crawling out of winter here, and slowly but surely, most of the snow has dissipated. Uh, today it's going to be like 60 degrees, which is an absolute heat wave for us. So. Anyhow, I thought I'd take you for a walk around the trailer here and just kind of show you what I've been doing. So come on along, check it out. Okay, so let's take a walk inside the trailer. I'll do the best I can here, uh, given the conditions of trying to film inside this 6x12 utility trailer. Uh, as you guys can see, the my trailer, after I pulled all the... the uh, the ceiling out of it and all of the paneling off the interior to do the insulating I, I found out that mine did not come with the plywood overhead to give you additional support so that coupled with the fact that we get a lot of snow here uh, definitely wanted to add that panel so I did that uh, pretty much full length from about, well, let's just say a foot from the back of the trailer or two foot and a half from the back of the trailer to all the way up to the nose. <clears throat> and then uh, I also welded in uh, or had a company weld in for me some additional support bars. This one here and there's several on up the way. There's about uh, five of those. And then I had them also weld in these aluminum uh, structures here or is to support a max fan so we got a max fan sitting up here and uh, that's up overhead I don't get you dizzy <laughs> anyway and then they the support structure just goes on over to the sidewall here okay so I've done that got that put in and uh, that was that was actually a fairly easy project to put that in and I'll show you up on the roof what I did in just a minute and then I've been uh, spending some time putting in the insulation up overhead and I've got some of the insulation on the side walls and in the nose. And you know, little presents that you find when you buy these trailers, even the best of them, you know, a little disappointing. Uh, if you can see in here, uh, you can see that, oops, whoever did this was in a hurry. So what that does is that opens it up to the weather when you're going down the road, you can see the air vents from the outside there. <clears throat> um, that rain can theoretically uh, and quite practically blow its way in through this upper uh, void up here. So I get to pull that off, uh, take the rivets out and uh, line it back up and then creatively come up with a way to cover these holes, these two holes here on the outside of the trailer once I slide that whole shell, clamshell, up. So, but I'll do something uh, creative. And then I've got this marked out here for a window, so I haven't put any insulation in that yet. Uh, but that'll stay that way until I get the windows, which I don't have yet. Let's sweep around here without getting you too dizzy. And I'm going to have a, an outside light, and I've got that ordered, and that'll go on the outside above the door there. There'll be another window here, 
and uh, then I've got uh, once I put all the paneling in inside I have um, and in the ceiling um, it's that uh, Luan stuff that I've got and uh, then I've got little I've got small recessed lighting that'll go up LED lighting that'll go up into that so most of the wires you see dangling around here are just the ones from the uh, manufacturer for the trailer outside lighting, tail lights, side marker lights, and the one light that went across in, and was in the center here that I'm omitting and uh, so I'm putting in those other lights. So let's go outside and take a look on the roof. Okay, this is the roof of the trailer and from the factory, see if I can get this to pan down here. I want to show you this. Uh, from the factory, there's they put aluminum, um, you know, tape, and it's the tape what what I've used to tape up duct work and things like that for heating ducts. It's the aluminized um, tape, and they put two layers over the edges here. To me, I don't like that. And so I'm going to redo that, and uh, I bought some uh, special uh, roofing tape uh, for that, and I'll tape all the seams, and uh, then I'll get the die core, and uh, I'll die core the the uh, seams down. Here's the Max fan, and uh, the Max fan is kind of a cool idea uh, because it will it it can it pops up and when it's deployed, when it's opened up, um, it's, it's weather, uh, weather, let's call it resistant. I, you know, it's pretty much weatherproof, but we'll call it weather resistant. Anyhow, so when I put this into the roof here, uh, I sealed it down with uh, the Dicor self-leveling sealant. I'm going to open this uh, Max fan up. Most of you guys have seen these, but I'll go ahead and deploy this and show you what this one looks like. So hold on. Okay, and this is the Max Air uh, opened up, deployed, and uh, they say that you can um, deploy these in the in the rain, and uh, so we'll give it a try here uh, one of these days. Hopefully we won't have any rain for a while here in Central Oregon, and uh, we're kind of enjoying this better weather. Not that we've had rain, but we've had a lot of snow this winter. I'll pan around here. You can still see the remnants of the snow right over here. So you can see we still have a little bit of snow, but it's not too bad. This is Explorer 867. Click on the subscribe button and click on the bell. You get the latest content from the channel as uh, I release it. Give us a thumbs up. Four thumbs down if you don't like the video. And uh, as always, I look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors. You guys take care.